Hey guys, so this is just going to be a pretty quick tutorial. Um, I've had a lot of people ask about how to create uh, legible text for your VR games, and uh, I guess that's something that a couple of people have been struggling with, so I wanted to just go over it really fast. So I'm going to show you two methods of creating text today. Um, feel free to use whichever one you like. They both have their pros and cons, um, and they're definitely not the only ways to do these uh, things, but they're just the ways that I've been using uh, for a while now. So. Basically, the first and easiest way to do it, uh, if you just right-click in your hierarchy, 3D object, and go to 3D text, uh, you'll get this really ugly looking hello world text. Um, so how do we fix this, right? So the, when you're looking at text, uh, the, and with the text mess in particular, the one thing that you have to be careful of is the character size, uh, actually in addition to the font size as well. So you wanna make sure your character size is actually relatively small when compared to the font size, otherwise you'll have this pixelated uh, smorgasbord that you see right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna increase this font size to 100, and now if I look at the text, it looks a lot clearer, but it's also way too big. So to fix that, uh, we're gonna change the X, Y, and Z scale on the transform to 0.1, and now we have a similar size text as when we started, but it's much sharper. And you can go ahead and play around with the actual character size and the font size um, as you see fit, but this is by far the quickest, dirtiest, and easiest way to get good looking text um, in your VR games. Now the second way um, is to actually use Unity's UI system. So if you're not familiar with the UI system, all you have to do is right click UI and go ahead and insert a canvas into the scene. Once you have a canvas, uh, you're gonna wanna change this render mode from screen space overlay to world space. Uh, because you never want to use screen space overlay in VR, or you rarely ever want to use screen space overlay. Um, so once you've done that, go ahead and right click on that canvas that you just made and give it a text component. Now, obviously this canvas is quite huge, uh, especially if we look at our camera rig way down here. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing I did uh, uh, with the previous text mesh. And I'm going to change the transform scale of the canvas to 0.1. And additionally, I'm going to move the X, Y, and Z positions to zero so that it's nicely centered uh, right around where my camera rig is. So as you can see here, um, our new text in our canvas looks a little bit worse than the rasterized text of our text mesh. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys a few options you can use to control it um, and what I find are best practices. So uh, one of the first things you can look at is if you click on the actual canvas itself, you can change the reference pixels per unit and you can also change the dynamic pixels per unit. So generally you're gonna to wanna to change the dynamic pixels per unit because um, it will, the more pixels you're using per unit, basically, the smaller in scale your text will be, but the sharper it'll be. So in this case, um, I think 50 looks pretty good. And the next thing, once again, you can change your font size. Um, you can change uh, your scale as well, if that's giving you issues. So what something you could do potentially is, you know, we could double the width and the height of our text component. And we could also double the font size, or we could, we could, you know, we could even go 50, and then we could change the actual scale itself and it should look a little bit sharper than it did before. So those are just two methods um, of creating good looking text. Uh, definitely use whichever one you feel more comfortable with. The text mesh is probably the easiest one to start off with. So just remember uh, character size and font size. You want font size to be way bigger than the character size. Um, additional notes, I would say uh, I know that Unity at GDC announced that Text Mesh Pro uh, would be going free. I think it already is actually. So if you want to spend the time and learn how to use that as an asset, I think that's probably a worthy investment if you're looking at a lot of text in your games because Text Mesh Pro makes your life a lot easier, uh, which is why they bought it. And uh, I guess if there's, enough, if there's enough interest, if you guys want to hear more about it, let me know and I'll do a follow-up video showing you guys uh, best practices with that asset as well. I just wanted to show you guys some stock Unity options um, but yeah, thank you guys.